Hi everyone, this is the demonstration on how to save inspiration from the web. For all of our units, it's always helpful to start researching some different ideas and looking at different pictures of portraiture, of landscapes, um, texture shots, uh, black and white photography, social justice photography, to get some ideas. So before you start searching the web, you are going to go into your J Drive folder. And in your folder, um, for this one, I'm going to save some inspiration in my portraits. Uh, I'm going to make an inspiration folder. And this is where I'm going to save my inspiration from the web so I have it all together so then I can make a contact sheet. Then I'm going to type in portrait. Portrait photography, if you're doing black and white, you could type in black and white photography or social justice photography. And then I'm choosing one of the 16 portrait tips. I'm going to type on image. And maybe I really like this one. I'm going to right click and save the image as. And then I'm going to go back into my J Drive folder under portraits, inspiration, and this one is with my contact. And you always have to have the .jpg at the end. If you don't, um, it changes the file type. And press save. Uh, let's see, what's another 16 portrait tip? Introducing a prop. Try to find pictures that you think you could um, replicate or do something similar or, you know, make it your own spin to it. I actually really... <laughs> I kind of like this one. So I'm going to right click, save image as. It takes me right back into my inspiration folder, and this one is introducing. Introducing a prop and save. Um, for the portrait unit, you're going to save 12, choosing 12 of the different portrait tips. For black and white, you'll look up black and white landscapes. textures, uh, portraits, movement. And so gathering inspiration from the web is a good way to jumpstart your creativity.